I, I had one suitcase and two hundred dollars, and I, could, I took a Greyhound bus to Fresno. And my well, I I was going to go to L.A. or San Francisco, but my mother said, "Well, you should see my brother in Fresno." First thing he asked me was, "How much money you got, boy?" And I said, "Well, I have two hundred dollars." He said, well, "Are you insane?" <laughs> That might last you a week. You're going to starve to death. Yeah, he, he was my, my mentor. He was very successful. He had 25 shops here in town, so he was real good, yeah. One of the news anchors called me. She goes, you should do a show with Alex. The very first show I did was on the Brazilian Blowout. They were so blown away at 24, they got good responses to the show. So they asked me if I wanted to do it every two weeks. Uh, on new things in hair and beauty and that sort of thing. Well, that's my name, Tony Miller. I mean, the crew, <laughs> the crew is these guys. And I, it's an ingenious idea. Like, they do the work, and I just stand around and get all the credit for it. It's, it's kind of like uh, Charlie and his angels. But it's Tony's angels. Tony's angels. Charlie has got yeah. nothing on me. <laughs> Well, I've, I've struggled with like frizzy, I always say it's big hair, my whole life really frizzy. And when my dad told me about it, I, I couldn't wait to get my appointment to get in and get in. When I got in and he did it, I don't know, I guess I had tears in my eyes when I, when I, when I looked in the mirror and I couldn't believe it. I mean, I could make her hair look really good with a lot of volume and body and curls. It was beautiful, but... I'm trying to express her. What does she want? She wanted all the straight, flat hairdos, which I could not deliver, you know, until the Brazilian bar. But when, like when a woman sits in my chair, I'm, I'm looking at who she is, you know, like, what is she trying to convey with her looks to the world? And the only thing I give a damn about is when I'm watching them in the mirror, when I see them light up, you know, when I see that look in their eye, I know I got close, you know. It's not enough ethics. That's what I'm dealing with my team. This is going to be an ethical team. If I succeed at this, I'll die a happy man. That will be the ultimate success where you created a team with honor, which is evidently a dirty word today. It does exist whether you deny it or not. <laughs>